and welcome to another Discord bot project. Today I'm going to show you how to link a Discord bot with your Minecraft server. Our Discord bot is going to be able to get detailed server information, monitor the server status, and see the players that are currently online. Before getting started, I suggest you take a look at my previous Discord bot videos where I walk you through the process of setting up your bot and go over the programming basics. I'll put links to these videos in the description. Also, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I've also recently created a Discord server for this channel, so the link to join that will be also in the description. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so here I am in PyCharm. I have my basic setup here where we import the Discord library. We're also going to import the extra commands library. We're going to set client equal to the command prefix and you can change your command prefix right here. And also we have our client.run with our token. So the first thing we want to do is get the library, the Python library, that's going to allow us to make API calls. And these API calls are going to give us the server information. So to get that library, we can do pip install requests, which is the name of the library. Make sure you're in the terminal tab here, click enter, and it should install. Now, right at the top here, you can say import request and you should be good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is create a command that is going to get all that server data of a specific server name we put into it. So we can create a command by saying at client dot command with the parentheses, and then we're gonna have a async def function and I'm just gonna call this command Minecraft. And we'll pass in a CTX for context and arg. All right, next we're going to set up the aspect that makes a call to the hosting service that hosts the server so we can get information about the server. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be sending API calls to Minehut, which is a Minecraft hosting service where there's tons of servers on Minehut but you can also make requests to Hypixel and other Minecraft hosting services. So to do that, we're gonna type r equals requests.get. In this case, we're making a get request because we wanna retrieve that data from the site. So we'll say request.get, and then we're gonna include a URL that the Minehut documentation actually provides for us. So this is the URL, and inside of here you can see we have an arg. So basically when we type this Minecraft command, we're also going to pass in the name of the server, and then this URL here is going to get that server information according to the name that we input. Once we've done that, we can say json underscore data equals r dot json and that's just going to make sure that this data is in a readable format in this case json is a readable format so we can access those um, objects inside of that data now let's just print our json data and see what we get so i'm going to run this code And I'm going to go to my server and I'm going to type Minecraft and then I'm going to put the name of the server I want to retrieve data from. So I just looked up a random server on Minehut and I found Scythemine. So I'm going to type in that. And then when I press enter, we can go back to our console and we see we get this big object here. This object contains the name of the server, the description of the server, 
how many players are currently online, even the difficulty, um, whether the server is online or not. So there's a lot of stuff here. So now I'm just gonna go through each of these objects and gather the data that I want. So first thing, I'm going to get the description. So I'm gonna create a variable called description and I'm gonna set that equal to JSON underscore data. So the first thing we have to do is put these little brackets that shows that we're going into another object or object property. So here, everything inside of this is in the server property. So I'm going to put quotations and then server. And then we can see here, if we scroll a little bit, the description for the server is in MOTD. And there's some weird characters here because I think that's uh, sort of the font they're choosing for the description. So we can just type MOTD and that is gonna give us that description. Next, I want to get the online status of the server. So I can say online is going to equal JSON underscore data server. And then the online property, if we scroll a little bit, I'm pretty sure it's just called online. Yes, just right here, online. And in this case, it's true. So now we have that, and the last thing we want is our player count. So I'll say JSON underscore data server, and then we'll say player count. All right, so we have all our variables here. Now let's send these all to the Discord server. So we're gonna await ctx.send, we're gonna send the description. We can say await ctx.send online. And then we're gonna say await ctx.send player count. So let's rerun this. So let's try this again with scythe mine server and we're going to get the description here the online status which is true it's online and the number of players currently online now this is not really the best way to display this information so i actually want to organize it by using an embed to do this i'm just going to delete this we can say embed equals discord dot embed and then our parentheses and inside of here we're going to set the title equal to arg plus server info so that's just going to be the name of the server and then info and make sure you put a comma at the end we're going to set our description equal to this right here and then we're going to set our color which is going to appear on the edge of the embed to discord dot color dark green and lastly we're just going to set the thumbnail of this embed to the minecraft dirt symbol you can say embed.set underscore thumbnail URL equals, and then I'm just gonna paste in a image I found. Lastly, we're going to await ctx.send embed equals embed. All right, so one more thing we have to do is actually the online variable is a Boolean so it's not gonna concatenate properly in this string. So what we have to do is put, make it a string here by just wrapping str around this. And also for the player count, since it's a number, we're going to also have to wrap string around this. So let's rerun this. And let's type Minecraft scythe 
mine and here we get our nice looking embed so it says scythe mine server info and then it's giving the description the number of players online or the status of the server which is online and the number of players online you can all also do this with other servers so there's also this server and right now this server is not online and there's no players online so this is a really cool tool you can use in your server it links the mine hut api with your discord bot so you can communicate with your minecraft server and see what's happening on it this is especially great if you have a gaming discord server or something like that and you want a bot that can do that again if you don't have a server on mine hut simply just look up the name of your hosting services api docs and you can find um, the url you need to call in here as well, if you wanted to make this so it would notify you when the server goes online, you could put this request in a loop. I wouldn't put it in a infinite loop. I would make sure you delay the request um, a few minutes because some of these requests have uh, limits, like you can't call them more than 120 times per minute or something like that. So just be mindful of that. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you next video.